Hi guys, welcome to Easy Peasy Gardening. I'm your gardener friend Ruchi and since the spring is almost here, so today we are going to sow some tomato seeds. So here I have heirloom tomatoes, uh, say summer feast. I think it has three different types of tomatoes. Uh, Costoluto tomato, persimmon tomato and black cream tomato. So I'm going to sow these seeds uh, in this planter. So this planter has, um, you know, a good potting soil mix with compost, perlite and cocoa peat. So, so there are a lot of seeds in here. I'm going to sow all of them uh, in this because this is a little older packet. So don't know how many of these will germinate. So I'm going to uh, put more than I would usually do because you know as the seeds get older they don't germinate that well. So uh, I'm going to put more seeds here. And then and then just cover it lightly with more soil. And water it and then I'm going to cover this in this uh, clear plastic bag so this way what happens is that uh, they stay the soil stays damp for a longer period of time so I'm going to uh, put it because it is still uh, cold outside. So I'm going to put it inside the house on a south facing window sill. So in the daytime, it will get a lot of sun and it will stay warm. And then whatever water evaporates will condense back uh, on the uh, plastic uh, sheet and, and go back to the soil and it will stay damp. So that will help in the germination process. So then uh, as they start germinating, I'll report back. So our tomato seeds have been growing pretty nicely. Uh, so actually uh, heirloom tomatoes, you know, that's the advantage that they uh, grow better than the other ones. Um, so uh, it is still cold outside. So I still have peas uh, inside the house on a south facing windowsill. And uh, let's see how they grow tomatoes are growing pretty nicely They're strong and healthy probably in another two weeks they will ready to be transplanted and now they are kept outside in full sun so uh, here are our tomato saplings so you can see that they are growing so nicely they are so healthy uh, I think it's about four weeks that we uh, planted the seeds in here and now uh, they also have they have uh, uh, true leaves coming out so you know the first two set of leaves are the seed leaves and then the true leaves start to come so true leaves this is the shape you know it has like three uh, you know side uh, three edges and this is the seed leaf, you know, this plain leaf, this is the seed leaf. So uh, most of them have now true leaves uh, out, so they are ready to be uh, transplanted. So here I have this big planter in which we have uh, put a homegrown uh, compost, homemade uh, compost. So it's really uh, very nice. Actually, it smells very nice. So if the compost is good, it is really fragrant. You can tell uh, that it's a good compost. So if you, you must have noticed that the soil level is pretty low in this planter. So the reason is that uh, you plant the tomato saplings here and as they start to grow, you keep filling more soil around it so then what happens is that you know some of the stem of the tomato it will get buried in the soil and it will uh, start to generate more roots so you will get a healthier uh, plant so 
what I'm going to do is I just want to have two plants in here. So uh, I'm going to just remove one um, pod of this uh, uh, divided planter and look at the roots. They are so healthy. And I don't want to separate these plants out. In any case, I have uh, extra. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just plant the whole thing here. And as they start to grow, I'm going to just strip the um, uh, plant that is not growing that well. So, you know, I don't disturb any of these as they are growing. I'll snip a few of them and only one will be left finally. And similarly here, we're going to push this out. Again, look at the root system, really healthy root system. And do the same thing here. Just press it around it so that there are no air pockets and they get full support. And actually too, oh, I, I can smell it, you know, it is so fragrant. You know, tomato plants are amazing. You water them and then the fragrance comes out of their leaves. So as I'm planting, I can feel the fragrance of the tomato plants. And uh, so just going to water it. When you are transplanting the saplings, there are a few things that you have to keep in mind. One is that you always, if you're doing it outdoors, then always do it in the evening because if you do it in the morning and then the harsh sun is uh, hitting the saplings they may uh, wilt uh, because here I have not separated the sapling but if you separate them so they are in a little bit of shock and then full sun is coming on them uh, it is not good so you want to always do it in the evening and second thing is always acclimatize your saplings so suppose these saplings were growing inside and now you are putting them outside and uh, this is the first day they have come out and now you have planted them. They are in, going to be in shock because it may be colder outside or hotter outside. So what you want to do is bring them uh, near their destinations, leave them there for a couple of days so they, that they get acclimatized. If you think the sun is too harsh, maybe keep moving them around, keep them in sun for one hour and then in the shade for a few hours. So take care of them and then transplant them if you want, you know, higher success rate. So that's about it. So I'll uh, report back how they are doing in a few weeks. So it's been one week that we planted these tomato saplings and uh, i don't know about you but i can definitely tell that they have grown uh, bigger in last one week so i'm going to thin them out a little bit not like you know just remove everything and leave only one but at least a few i will remove so you know the smaller ones is going to So three I have cut from here and from here also. Three from there. Oh, again, it's so fragrant. So anyway, so uh, now three plants are left here and four are left here. And we'll see uh, depending on how they grow. Uh, maybe another next week we'll uh, thin out uh, a few more. So now I have removed all the extra tomato plants from these. So it's only one plant left for each of these. And uh, now, and they have already grown in last two weeks. They have already doubled in size, uh, if you can make out. And now I'll just start slowly start filling more soil in this container because that's what um, tomatoes like. And um, uh, so the stem will be buried uh, in the soil. So we'll fill it up uh, almost to the top here.
so i have filled up uh, the container uh, with more soil and uh, mostly compost uh, as they grow older or uh, taller i'm going to fill it up more uh, so uh, that's it for now in this video i'll make another video when it grows uh, uh, to full length and it starts to bear fruit so i hope uh, this video was useful to you if you have any questions leave a comment and i'll try to answer as soon as possible if you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you next time happy gardening bye